okay guys let's talk about today for today about how to add height and unhide this is normal height okay this is uh, how to how to hide file and this is normal height it means I can unhide again from here so it will becomes again but this will facilitate just one click hide one click unhide it will facilitate the work uh, in the windows and make windows better right so the before we talk about how to hide as a system file hide as a system file you know now system file means hidden is in a dimmed not like normal height but if I want to keep keep pressing shift from the keyboard keep pressing shift uh, unhide will up, will display it will be displayed now now becomes as a normal file so hide is available see but normal hide it will make like this hide and unhide okay hide as a system file is not available if I choose many items like this so right click only hide is available why because I add it to all system file objects you know I add this file before I told you before we add this inside the registry under asterisk and I add the hide as a system file hide as a folder file under the directory so everyone every every type of the file be added added before in the asterisk and this is added in a directory that's why I when I choose this one and this one separately I can hide as a system folder so hide as a system file okay because it's a different type but hide how I made this hide to available for all all type of files I can be hide hide is available for all this kind of files if I choose all of these icons so the hide is will be available for all so what can I did in this where can where I added this uh, uh, this value a uh, hide and unhide inside this registry file I told you before the comprehensive location for all type of files is asterisk is for file and directory and directory for folder under shell I can add whatever whatever I want okay also under under asterisk also asterisk for files and directory for I can add under shell whatever I want okay hide as a system file under shell but this oh, this one related to files but directory related to folders but if I want to add something to be comprehensive for all kind of files I have to add it in all files just I'll write from keyboard all it will go directly to the to the this location all file system objects it means all kind of file system it can be it can be uh, displayed uh, what, whatever whatever I will add here under shell it will be displayed in all kind of files files programs uh, picture icon anything any file any type of file any file type it can be it can be appear that's why I told you before the better it's better to add comprehensive uh, comprehensive uh, uh, location is all file system types so I put it here h123 h456 h123 you can call it whatever you want no problem it's up to you so you can put any name any name okay h123 you can put only h you can put uh, uh this h and this is uh as you want as you see but I made before because I made before hide as a system file I, ma I made it before it, it was clear hide as a system file so I think you you I don't want you to think it's it's a, as a it's a yeah it means it's not a rule okay it's not it was a, no fl flexibility is very high flexibility okay you can add it here you can be with me now all will go to all again in the inside the shell so I can make it so where where is the name of this height where I ha this height this uh, this name where I put this h123 why I didn't put I can put it hide I can name it here see but I put another one just to be to be very open mind just to make you open mind because no need no need to hide it's not, not as a condition not a conditional uh, way to put the name here not at a condition to put the name here okay so this is many things okay 
now hide hide I cannot change just remove this one MUI verb this is the way to name it if I remove it will becomes hide h123 before okay this h123 I put it here okay it's it, now h123 because I I removed the the naming of the item okay F from here I can put it h H123 it's it's now available how can I rename this one I can name this one in the default value I can open double click and I can put it hide okay I can put the hide here like this so the hide becomes again hide okay it's not hide here but here in the default icon I can put it the name of the item okay the other way I can put it put hide here I can remove this one okay becomes one two three this one two three I can rename it rename it to hide okay okay I can put it hide okay it will appear hide okay it will display for file and folder hide because this all file types all file system type objects it means all kind of files this hide will be available okay will be displayed right this hide I can name it here so I can for example rename this one I'll make it zero okay but where is the name of this one it will be zero no I'll I can name it not here I can name it here okay hide okay now becomes hide again okay I can remove the name of this hide okay it becomes again zero how can I the, the third way to name it just to put the value here with the value M U I verb okay MUI verb this MUI verb can I can put hide here hide for this item so hide becomes again so put the name here MUI verb put the value new value new string and name it MUI verb okay user interface verb means the name the name of the this object so MUI verb means the name of the of the of the item I will put you can put it coded like this then you can put it uh, here MUI verb that's why I made this one uh, different than before okay to give you more flexibility when you wanna add any button not add a condition to put it clear like this you can add it, add it coded like this okay you can um, uh, you can add it coded and you can put this MUI verb so it will you can name your value like this okay this is the way of Windows uh, always uh, tended to to uh, name in anything just in, in a hidden way like this MUI verb okay this is the name okay so I, I call it zero and this I will call it one okay this is zero zero one zero and this is one okay the other one is zero it means height this one unheight okay you can put it uh, as you as you wish okay this is up to you hide and then hide so this one so whatever whatever I rename this one because the name still still the same okay hide and then hide so if I may whatever I, I rename this one to like this anything okay this also I rename it rename it with anything like this okay whatever I the the hide and then hide will not change okay because the name is still here MUI verb like this okay but if you put anything inside the default now it will be replaced with the it will replace the name we were giving now we are giving okay if we put anything here inside the default for example put anything like this it will replaced so it will becomes uh, see now not not replaced but no change because you this one is supervised this one okay this is super super than this one okay the so this one can hide and then hide whatever you put here whatever you put here as a name like this okay whatever you put here whatever you put here so it's coded only one here hide will be keep it will be keep hide and then hide okay so no no need for this new key okay remove we just want to make it for example so, so hide and unhide it's available now 
in, inside this one so you told I told you this one to give you more flexibility when you create any item okay it's one one of many things you you can name it from here you can name this key from here you can name this key from here okay three types or three ways you can follow just to rename any value you can add you can edit code it like this like this and you can finally you can put your your command here then under this one you will make a command like before and un under the command you can add attrib uh, h double quotation uh, asterisk one see the percent one attrib uh, the plus h uh, percent one it means apply this code this this code or this command can be applied to this button that's why i made i made this button like this so this is a command so the hide will hide the, like this uh, unhide will unhide like this okay it's up to the command written inside okay uh, that's a very very uh, very clear i think it's very clear for you to put hide and unhide you uh, maybe you will ask a question where is this icon where the icon you put you we told i told you before to put icon but in this case i didn't put icon i i add this value this value will add you know run as administrator run as administrator for any executive file like this run as administrator it takes the same i take it from run as administrator okay i take it from there then i put it here uh, any value you will put this has lua lua shield has lua shield okay if i remove it now i can add it now again see has lua so it will be hide and unhide will be become without any icon okay so i can put icon like this like before you know for uh, like hide shell shell 32 dot dll comma maybe 30 30 okay this is for hide hide 30 shell uh, no not i'll uh, i made a mistake so i'll cut and i'll call it icon inside this icon i'll put like this this is the name of the icon so hide will be like this and then hide will be like this okay whatever you put icon okay instead of i uh, put this icon i can give an icon but a standard icon for like like a uh, run as administrator has lua verb has lua shield shield means it's uh, against against uh, to protection protection uh, against any injuries like uh, you know has has lua shield has lua shield okay now becomes here the other uh, other command also i'll put it inside the key has lua shield has lua shield anyway 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 you can put it a capital letter small letter it's it's up to you no problem it will no difference okay so uh, hide and then hide now available in in the menu so you can add it to the menu any kind of file so any type of file this menu will be available because we add it in all file system objects okay so here here hide available here like i told you before hide and then hide available in any type any file type any type of files it will be available also it's available for you if you want to add more items different types so you can right click and make because maybe some something is different so i can track it and to know where where to to become again hide and then hide available here hide and then hide for this one available here hide and then hide I told you before how to make like this for all <laughs> but not available so we have to make for at least for any files any files I can uh, I can put folder any type of files it can it can be displayed hide and then hide okay so it's a bit, it's better to put any icon any 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 command uh, just to follow what I tell you what I told you about renaming no problem to name anything it's uh, it's up to you uh, put the name here put the name here directly or don't put the name here only put the name here in the default don't put here or, or here put anything here okay but 
put MUI verb to name the object to name the command you added to the folder or on any type of files you have to name it by this one is MUI verb you can add icon for this command by adding this icon right click a new string and put it icon and put the icon code the icon code okay you can put it whatever you want so this is a command and this is a command whatever you want you can put it directly from here so this can hide this folder this unhide this hide and the, this unhide okay now you know how to add okay you just name it to be able to re remove it okay no problem to name it for like zero we have to let's say name it zero because we want to make a script now to be able to remove this one this is zero and this is one okay if we want to make a script to remove this hide and unhide like i told you before this is script this script you will find this script under this under this video okay so it will it will be like before h123 it's uh, it's up to you to, to name i told you so let's go like before h123 uh, but uh, unhide will be h name it h345 okay one two three four five six four five six one two three and this is four five six okay it's uh, h one two three h uh, four five six so this is up to, up to you to to make to make it whatever you want okay let's do it now this script i will put it under the video you can download it just to apply directly no need to make what i what i told you that uh, what i told you in this video you have to apply it directly just extract this one you can download this one extract now this one can remove but run it run as administrator like this okay it will remove the hide and the unhide okay normal hide and unhide disappeared now if you want to add it again just double click yes okay so it will add directly to your system hide and unhide okay this two script you will find it under the video you can download it down this video okay so i will facilitate this for you that's why i told you how to uh, to make it to just to know just to know to be uh, to uh, to be to be in your mind how to make how to make it uh, i think it's a better will be make you open open mind you can put whatever uh, commands you want different than this just know the codes so you will be able to make any uh, button any command you can add it to your system okay i think it's a uh, good to add this command to remove this command so i you will find this you can download this code or this script under the video under this video so i hope you enjoy enjoy this video to to be able to understand uh, what i said exactly just try to apply try to apply what i told you before what i told you in this video especially in this video just open registry try to open try to make it yourself okay go and try to add again remove like this by your hand try to add anything new key like this so you give command for this key will uh, will be here so anything will be you will find this new key in anywhere any type of files okay so you can give it command you can name it from here you can name it from here you can put mui verb from here from here mui verb okay just to name it whatever you will be if i name it for example k k k okay so you will find the key becomes k k k okay okay mui verb i remove this k k k it will becomes again new key like before if i put something here l l l okay it will become the l l l see because i put it here okay so if i remove this one it will becomes again the same like new key before if this new key removed or uh, renamed to uh, a a a it will becomes a a a because you didn't name here you didn't put name here you didn't put name here so it will take this one okay i think you can understand this uh, things so uh, i think it's very easy for you to apply you have to practice more and more just to take the experience 
take the full experience whatever codes you have in your mind i think uh, it's up to you if you are de make a deeper search for codes how to make uh, codes uh, for example how to make uh, how to make something like a registry or you can add more many things to folder and and files to apply this command to file or folders or folders or you can add it freely here in this system okay and right click on the desktop background or directory by background it will appear in your desktop it's up to you so i hope you get full experience now about naming the how to name this any item you will add to registry hide and then hide how to add it how to remove it it's up to you the the script will be available for you these two scripts will be available for you hide and then hide so if you make it hide now double click yes and now hide and then hide add it to your system if you double click to remove this one but right click and uh, run as administrator just take it in the desktop right run as administrator so it will be applied so hide and then hide disappeared okay so we have to uh, remove this script delete okay you will find this script under this uh, video you can download it from there just to apply it directly instead of make all these procedures to hide and then hide to add height and then height to your system if you need if you don't need okay no problem you can search for another video to get something better than for you okay uh, thank you for watching uh, and goodbye